Right, hello people. <sighs> right, batch creative, <clears throat> if I can speak. <coughs> Do excuse me. Yeah. Right, hello. Um, batch creative, something slightly different this time. Um, rather than uh, writing something original, what I've got in, free, in front of me here is something that was written ages ago for this same same sort of idea as what we're doing with the other piece um but this is based on draco um and it's just for piano at the moment so i thought what we'd do is get it orchestrated so we've got exactly the same orchestra as we were using for the other one but now all i've got to do is work out how to translate this into orchestral sound so what i'm going to do is just play you the piano version so you can hear what it sounds like and then we'll work out what we're going to do.
So, got all that to orchestrate. Um, probably the most difficult bit about it is actually sort of get what that <laughs> what this left hand line has got to do. Um, mm, let's go right back to the beginning. And think about how we can sort out these first few bars. That bar and that bar are going to be easy because there's nothing in them. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at how easy is that going to be to play in brass. We have to fiddle around with octaves um, to make it work. I'm not too sure that that's, that's too helpful for a trombone. Of course, remember a trombone has a slide, so it's physical movement all the time, rather than just pressing a button. Um, hmm. Let's actually put it into things like super soons. Octaves, let's get rid of it in the brass for the moment. Just stick it in into the bassoons more or less exactly as it is there. All the way through that. Yeah, it's where the bassoon's gone, so put all that into there. So we get that. Um, what we do need to do actually is go across. Oh no, I don't. Um, go across into here and just mute the piano playback. So now we don't hear what the piano is doing at all. Now we can just play the whole thing. <laughs> there might be an idea to. Emphasize that first note. Hey, AC. How are you doing today? Lovely to see you. Um, possibly emphasize it in horns. Make it low enough. Just give everybody that same B. Mark it to be loud. Good grief. Everybody's going, hey, maybe. <laughs> so it starts there on a B. Let's say accent it as well. It then goes up to a C. Oh, no, it doesn't do that. It goes up to a C. Don't need to hang on to the dynamics. And then it's a E again, and then a C again. So that's easy. And what's it do? It climbs D. E and F sharp. Right. What does that do? Hmm. That works, but we need to bring this out a bit more, don't we? So we've got that. Let's keep it all in weedy things, shall we? Let's let's put it into the oboes as well. Up a couple of octaves. What does that do? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. That's sounding quite nice, isn't it? I'm not doing too bad at all, thank you, AC. And as you've all discovered, yes, the heist is active. <laughs> hmm. That re that really does work, doesn't it? Then it gets more tricky. Um, I think we need to put that on some sort of 
Symphony. Oh, did you really, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh, you can tell me if anything I put on the clarinets is impossible, then. <laughs> As I'm likely to. Um, that E is going to be a bit much. Uh, yeah, that E is going to be a bit low on the timpani. Um, I think. Uh, let's stick it through into the actual playback lines, wherever they've gone. There's a roll. <laughs> no, we want to roll. It's those we don't want there. Let's do that and say that this has got to be trilled. Because I will produce actual scores for this as well. Um, that's probably going to sound awful, but we'll see. So we've just got timpani there at the moment. Yes, we'll leave it doing that for the moment. And then it goes bananas. Um, of course, typically we can't have it changing notes all the time like that. Which means it might be better actually to put that onto a bass drum. Best of finding the roll. You do indeed. AC. Um, now let's switch back into this and actually find where the note is. Uh, bass drum. Just want a constant roll. Somewhere here there must be a roll that is just a roll, not dying away and doing things. That's just a stroke. They're just really slow crescendos. It's an extremely slow crescendo. Let's see. I don't think that's necessarily the right instrument to be using. We need to find a different one. One that makes more sense. Um, constant bass drum. Let's try that one. Replace it. Yes. Sounds exactly the same to me. There we go. So it's that top G. That's what we want. Right, save that so we don't lose it. Yeah, save this as well so we don't lose it. So it's up there. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's very annoying. So we can now put that into here. We could probably leave it going like that, just as that is. Timpani line will obviously emphasise that a bit. We're putting that through into the next two bars as well. Copy that through, so we get a playback. Bit knocking on doors, isn't it? Um, hmm. Never mind. I'll leave it as it is for the moment. Use an ease everywhere. Use an ease everywhere. Let's put those in the trumpet. No, up there. Let's leave it up there for the moment. All this is loud. Loud and obnoxious. Why not? Uh, can we then put the scale into that lower trumpet? Might be an idea. Um, I 
Let's do that. Eh, not that note. Or that one. <laughs> Try that. Get rid of that. And save that. Right, so we then get another another one of those. Double that. It follows on, does exactly the same thing again. Just needs a bit more something underneath it. Um. Hey, Tomo. How are you doing? I'm orchestrating. <laughs> um, let's try... This might be interesting. Just listen to that, see what that actually sounds like all on its own. That's basically this, it's just separating it out and playing it in a more rapid note. That sounds like it's going to be doing something. Lovely. Lovely, Tommy. Nice to hear. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm having fun sorting this out. Let's think accent every other one. Accent that as well, like so. Um, double bass can play that too. She's probably not going to be. Oh, that's wrong. Wrong way of doing it. Not the most interesting way of doing it. Um, still, now we need a note in a different voice here because we need to go into this and work out. Uh, not in that one. We need to work out how to get the double bass to play pizzicato. Um, am I in the right thing here? Things. Yes. That's interesting. We don't seem to have any. Hmm. That's interesting. Where's the double bases? E switch. Masters. Replace. Might help if we actually had the option. What I'm working on at the moment, Tomo, is part of this long process of building an album. Um. 88 pieces altogether. We've now got, now got some key switches. Um, yeah, there'll be 88 pieces altogether, each and every one of them based on a different constellation. Uh, this one is Draco. Which one I find, find the right thing? Um, it's a dragon. C sharp 5, that one. Yes? No, that one. There we go, pizzicato. Um, so it's C sharp, I need to set that as. C, C sharp, please. Right up there. Ugh. This is a bit that gets annoying. I hide all those. And the note. And then look. That sounds suspiciously like like it's playing it with a bow. Yes, 88 altogether. That's better. That's working, I think. No, it's not. Let's... Mm. Righto. Let's copy that through into there, because that's much easier to put the notes back in. Out. Play pizzicato, please. Sharp. Up to there. Hey, that your fan? How are you doing? 
Nice to see you. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to want to play a pizza car too today. That's that's interesting. Do it. Oh no, we don't want that. <laughs> well, that's what I want. But why wouldn't it stay playing? That's that's um annoying. Started from there. Oh, it did change it then. No, it didn't. Hmm. Right, okay. Okay, machine. It's going to be one of those days, is it? Right, I have to sort it out in post. That's what the, what the filmmakers always say, isn't it? <laughs> Put it right in post. 88 constellations. I don't know them all. I, I do, bear with me. I do, um... I do have a book that is <laughs> that is there guiding um gives you every single one so you can work out what they all are um so yeah i i am going from information i'm not using <laughs> i'm not doing it out of my own head thankfully right so that needs to be pizzicato but won't play pizzicato at the moment not that it matters Actually, it might be all right. Well, that's working, isn't it? Let's see what we're doing with the next bit. The roll and bass drum needs to keep going. <laughs> Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> keep that bass drum. Rolling all the way up to there, I think. Um, where, where's where's the bass drum gone? Copy that through. And uh, bar sixteen. Yes, yeah, bar sixteen. <laughs> Keep the roll all the way through to there. Accent that note so it has some sort of crash. Accent the playback line as well. So that could be the same because we're basically what I'm doing is translating what we've got here in the piano part into a full orchestral sound. Uh, let's just copy that through actually. And then start Ooh, dividing it all up into longer notes uh, four of those violinists are not going to be happy about this but still mm hmm <laughs> mm. Yes, yes. Uh, take the same thing. Copy it through into the trumpets in both octaves. That's actually that's actually within range. Yes. Um. Set that going as well in the third one, just to give it a bit more emphasis. What are the bass notes? The bass notes are A, B, C, D. Right, okay. In that case, put that into uh, the tuba. What did I say? A, B, C, D. C, D. That into there, and into the bass trombone. Let's have this being a little bit more, a bit low actually in the tenor trombone. That let's give that a try. Very brass heavy at the moment. Uh, 
Ooh. Oh, don't you dare crash now. <laughs> Come on, Sibelius. Brand new edition of the program and it stutters. <laughs> Some people are doing really well out of this dust game, aren't they? Come on, don't you dare. Keep responding, game. Game. Keep responding, Sibelius. Thankfully, Sibelius takes just a couple of seconds to load. If if that crashes, we are in trouble. So it'll take forever. <laughs> oh, always see you. Aren't you close? Aren't you close? Really, Sibelius? Are you you're going to give up, are you? Really? You are. You're going to give up. Lovely. Um. Mm, uh, this is this is interesting. How is he bloody lurking? Yeah, yeah, absolutely lurking. <laughs> Do you remember there are on-screen pop-ups now for various commands? Not all of them, but some of them have got on-screen pop-ups. Um. Oh come on. Uh, uh, I don't actually know whether that's running, AC. Two, two seconds. I do. Oh, it's oh, it's just cleared, just sorted itself. Um, I do. I have to actually tell it to... Oh, no, it's running. It is running. Yes, it is running. It will take that. It should take that. We shall see. We shall see. Right, can we, can we have, our, have our music back, please? Yeah, it's took it. Right, because we had this going here as well. We need to bring this to an end. Let's actually have those accented, shall we? So basically what I'm doing is just translating what I've already got down here in this piano part into orchestral sound. Uh, that needs to be copied through into that, and we'll put it into the same octaves. Very high on the oboe. Never mind. What we might do... Very low down. Um, no, we want an E, don't we? Put that actually into the clarinets as well. Keep it low down so it doesn't have to go over the break. Is it, uh, no, it's an English horn. Let's try putting it into the clarinets. <laughs> English horn won't like that. That's probably better. I should probably could put that first one up. Oh, it's not, not too bad. So now let's put it above the above the break. Copy that through again. There's a lot of this piece is just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe he's betting against you, AC. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. Okay. Um. Okay, bring that down an octave, stick it into the piccolo as well. <laughs> right, let's see what that's doing. Ow. Shut up, trumpet. <laughs> oh yes, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting something. Some somewhere that's some um, sounding nice. Um take that trumpet line. Let's put let's put all of this into this woodwind as well. Uh that's a bit bit much for a clarinet. Let's just go bananas and put it all in. That's no, it's apparently not on the patch. That's interesting. Let's not have it in the oboes. Let's wait, wait for the oboes to come back in. Oh, 
that's um that's damaging things. Let's bring that down just a little. Right. <laughs> yeah, well done maybe. It's not rigged, honest. I haven't touched it. It's just as it comes out the box. Right. That's all working. Save it. Save it. Save everything. Right, what we've got here are base notes. So we can go bananas. Let's... Um, Let's really make this work. Let's stick that in the contrabassoon. It's too low. In the contrabassoon there, in the bass clarinet as well. Yes, down there. And also put it through into things like the cello. Uh, that needs to be copied through to there as well, as does that. No, not there, it doesn't. That will, once it comes to be sorted out, played with the bow. Oh, let's put a rehearsal mark in there. Don't want a rehearsal mark. <laughs> oh, wait. Don't need one of those. So we've got a second violin and a viola to fill in. Um, which we can probably do with those. Let's copy that through into that. Keep it all obnoxiously loud. Right. Because we're going into a chord of E minor, so that needs to be a. Hmm. We could do the B. In, we could do the D sharp in it somewhere. Um, where can we what can we give D sharp to? Um ah, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 I said don't do that. <laughs> Bloody program. Doesn't do what you want it to do half the time. Right, this is now 8.6 by the way, The new a new update was released uh, yesterday, possibly the day before, um, so I'm now on it, so it's a little bit tender at the moment. Right, what's that do? Ooh, ooh, clashing harmony, nice. Yes. Yes. We're being bought. <laughs> Another three minutes. Um just because let's let's have one of those um crash symbol with I've got to find a crash symbol. That was probably the closest. Yeah, we'll have that one. Uh, symbol. Do that. What's that doing? So we'll get one of those there. Right. Let's let's see what that's sounding like so far. Yes, that's all right. Now let's unmute the original. Play that with it. So it'll carry on we'll know where it's going. Sorry. 
it down to something that actually resembles a tune. So, now what can we do with this? Probably the best thing to do with this is to keep it in brass and actually have these chords given in the brass. So let's select, uh, what do we want? Let's keep it in trumpets actually for the moment. Trumpets are, trumpets are probably good for this sort of thing. Where's the thing? To, there we go. Just select just those staves. So we have, what do we have? We have an E. It's always going to be in the wrong octave, but never mind. Just leave it like that. We can sort the rest of that bit out with other instruments. Rhythm is exactly the same, so we can just copy the rhythm through and then move it down. E, B, D sharp. Down to B. And again, copy that through and just move it around. Do that just to make it easier to play. That works, but it might be better if we actually kept the, that there. Let's have a listen. Yes, I think so. All of that accented. Yes, same thing a bit later on. Yeah, bring those, bring these they'll be right up at that, that height. So that's essentially the same thing now in a major key rather than the minor key it was in. Um, D, 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 F sharp, down to an E. And that is B, B, up to the C. I think. Yes. So you know when we play it. Yes. Yes, right, let's... Mute the original piano part again. That's working. That's working. Uh, problem is the accompaniment underneath it. Um, I should probably give to the low brass, actually, and the heavy brass. Might work. Need to do something else with it, mind, at the same time, but it might work. Let's do that. Right, so we've got that chord. We need that to end on some sort of chord. No, we cannot give that to the brass because it's, it's going to be too much. Um. That might work. That might work. Give the give the uh, tuba. Something along those lines. <laughs> Somebody's doing really well in this heist now. <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know what quite to do with that. E 
to somehow have all that scurrying stuff going on. Probably the best thing to do is actually just to set something up like that. Um, stay there. Goes back to E. G. Down to D. Uh, then where's it go? Stays on D, right. And that would actually fit. Oh, that would actually fit onto the cello. But it can't play the B below it. So we've got to put that onto there. Let's then do that. Like that. See what that sounds like on its own. Hmm. Yes, let's also put this melodic line into the upper strings as well. Because here we can actually put both notes in. We can actually have that D sharp, that D sharp and that F played. Yes, that works. And actually, because they're strings, let's do it that way. So not only are they playing loud and accented, they're also using down bows on every note. That would make a great deal of difference to what you hear at the moment. But in live music, that will make a great deal of difference a very large attack on that note. Um, actually, because we've got that, we can do something ra rather rather interesting that Marler always did, and do that. So that line's got an extra little note there that leaps into it. Don't really hear it, but it helps in playing it. Now this is where it needs to change. So we need that. Oh, not those accented. Let's slow those together, even though they're not slowed in the original, that won't matter. Uh, select the down bow on those. Uh, I don't actually need that one. Put the dynamic in again just to make sure. Good, and then the viola part. Uh, ooh, we don't want all that, do we? That also has to go up the octave. And it's a G A. Put that through. So we get that. Uh, what note are we on there? B. E. Going up to that G. We'll leave it as that. Leave it as that. So what's that sound like? Yes. Let's do the rest of this these string parts. Now this needs to go really high now. So 
So again, accented and oops, instead of like panel down bows. Copy that through. D, D yes, D natural. F and the D below it will work better there. Because of how the instrument's built, both of those notes will be on a separate string. E, D, here we go. And slow those together, just as we did before. A lot of this sort of thing, a lot of keeping a piece of music working is about doing the same thing in a slightly different way every time. Uh, oh, hang on. hang on. I can't read viola clef. Where's B? Not that B, that B. A, we need a C, don't we? Oh, hang on. Yes, that is possible. Yes, accents and dumbos. So that should be all that working together. Okay, let's see what that's doing in terms of whole orchestra. Viola's a little loud. Uh, oh God, where the fuck's the viola gun? Uh, <laughs> um, 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 viola, turn down. Be quiet. Don't be so obvious. That's better. Now, we need to that I think into something way up here let's stick it in the piccolo and the flutes like that and that ends up on what note that ends up on a G we need to emphasize that slightly it's getting lost uh, G Now, if we come back down to the bottom, same thing here. And again, copy it through into both those two instruments. But that C's a little high. Actually, it's so high, it won't actually play that note. Bring that down an octave there then. Let's just bring all of that down the octave. And lose the second flute part. Might be an idea to accent those last notes as well. Oh, it's only a B. It is only a B. That's all it needs to be. Okay. That's all right then. We can put that up the octave. Can we? No, we can't. Right, leave it at that then. That does nothing to help it. Bring that up. Good. Good, we're getting there. We need to bring that through into something else. Probably the bassoons. That's probably the best place for it. Because they can actually hit that B. 
But it needs to be. Up the octave. I'm still going to be stupidly loud. Right, what do we got? Also want to note there the horns. Oh. You can actually zoom in on the right bit of the music, it would help. Uh, where the horn's gone? It's just an E. So need that note in there. And we can lose all those rests because they don't need to be there. What's that do? Yes, I think. We need something else underneath that, don't we? Uh, rolls that E would probably do it. Trouble is, it's got to change, hasn't it? Mm. Um. Keep that going, even though it's the wrong note. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. So he says, <laughs> it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, timpani hits there. And rolls are there and there. So that gives a bit more of a power, but we'll do that. Accent more. And then that one starts rolls again. Um hmm. Maybe we put it into the trombone, so it's E, 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 D, C, B. Trombone. Yep, down the octave. Loads of E's, another load of E's. E, D, C, B, A. That's basically what, what we've got anyway. Copy that through into there. Stick that up the octave. Right. That sounds better. Yes, yes, I think so. Let's let's just make these a little uh, more straightforward to play. Because somebody's doing really, really well, <laughs> really, really well at these eyes. You want that command, don't you, AC? There you go. <laughs> Might have something to do with why we're not 
This isn't the sound I thought we were. Stick that into those as well. Like that. Is it B that has to end up on? No, it just jumped to an E. Just don't want Excel to get another one. <laughs> Right, so I'm going through sorting things out now. Because we've basically we've ended up with something that ends on the wrong beat. They don't link together particularly well there. Use an E no hurt anybody, I suppose, but. Mm. Having said that, let's do that. So we actually get the chord. Yes, let's say that. Right. Stuck note. Goodbye, stuck note. <laughs> uh. Bloody software. Go away. Shut up. Right, that's starting to come together. I think it's building in a way that it needs to. Take that up there. So you can actually do it that way. Um, fortissimo flute down there is going to be interesting. Um, but never mind. Oh, and you. And you. And you. These aren't just these aren't just things that go onto onto music just to make it look different. They do actually mean something, and this does actually just about play it back, which is helpful. Um, it, mm, do we want something there to lead up to that? Yes, we do. We're going to D sharp, so uh, C, B, A, G. Well, this will actually work, but. No idea whether that will work. But it's worth a try. Let's see what that sounds like. Actually, that's not too bad at all, is it? Slightly out of key, but that doesn't really matter. Trouble is, we do lose then here some of the Some of the slightly more frantic movement that the piano original has. Working out where we can put some of that where it's actually playable. Obviously, the piano does that stupidly easily. Um, other instruments don't necessarily. Actually, having said that,
actually, actually, let's let's just say we do have a piano. Let's just put it into the piano part anyway. Make sure the other one is actually shut up. Uh, yes, it is shut up. Not that you can hear it all that well. No, maybe not. Maybe not. So this is all about trying things out, testing things, giving things a try. Uh, because the because the brass instruments can't really play that at that rapid speed. Um, hey, Joel. The um. The Hubba makes music. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Eh, no, not get down there. Or move the rest. This is going to be horrible to play, I think. Um... But we might have to just try it. G's. Loads and loads of D's. Get down to the C and then we'll worry about doing the rest of it later. Um, let's give that to that. That's going to be horrible to keep in time. It's going to be horrible to keep in time. Mm. No. <laughs> Very definitely no. Get rid of that. Bring that back down to its standard length. Nice relaxing Saturday. Lovely. Lovely. What's happening in AC's chat? <laughs> What's going on? Something I've missed? Something I need to know about? No, it's probably not something I need to know about, but... No. Let's do that. Um, hmm. You're playing well. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, Joel. Nice to know. Nice to hear. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> uh, uh, rapid alternations of two notes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's accent those. See, the strings are the best thing, best thing for it, really. Let's. Hmm. I don't particularly want to do this, but. Uh, there. Let's just go bananas. Go bananas with a side drum. Give the... Give the rhythm that it needs. Give the absolute rhythm that it needs. Uh, and I, I do apologise for the Steam notifications going off. Uh, 
no. I don't like that at all. It's too bright. It's too, too there. Need that rhythm. Need that repeated quavers. It's putting it in an instrument where it's not going to jump out at you. Um, but where it's going to have some presence. Mm. We also need to double that onto something like the clarinets. Just so it comes through a bit more. Hmm. How do we keep that going? Xylof xylophone? 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 It'll be in the wrong octave, but it'll still be there. Uh, let's copy that line into the xylophone. Turn it down a bit. Everyone's running the heist now. <laughs> um, violin, do you mind? Do you mind stopping doing that? Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> Fucking software. Stop it. Thank you. Uh no that doesn't work either. Oh god. <laughs> Getting this right is going to be tricky. Um Because what the original is, for those that haven't heard it as yet, we'll play just the original. Let's unmute it. This is what I'm orchestrating. It's got this constant drive to it. But with it only in the strings there, it's losing it. So you're going to have the same problem when it comes back later as well, because it's exactly the same sort of thing. Um, hmm. Um, let's go and mute that again. What we need to do is find a way of keeping that going somewhere. Trumpets are out of the question. Um, Soons. That's probably the best place to be honest. Mm -hmm. There's loads of E's. No, it's not. It's loads of D and then B. These and then E's. Let's stop it there. Stop it there. Hmm. 
Let's try try that just so we get a little bit more melodic sound in it. Have you all died again? Oh dear. <laughs> We just need those to be D sharps, don't we? Uh, oh, hang on. Melodic scales going down, you flatten it. That's fine. Oh, going up, you also sharpen that one. Let's also put that into the oboes. No, let's not put it into the oboes. <laughs> Got a similar sort of thing going on if we do this. Video feed locked up, oh really? Two seconds, I'll have a look. Is somebody else can is anybody else having that issue? And so it's moving alright on my dashboard. Hmm. Don't know, then. It's fine on your screen, AC. Hmm. Interesting. Twitch. It, Twitch being... Being Twitch, I suppose. I have slightly upped the bit rate, actually. Um, and just to see what... Diff any difference it made? Hey, GMO. Fine now. Oh, good. Well, as long as it's all right at the moment. Should we call that it? That might be better. Just having... So we get that and double and actually stick all that up the octave and copy it through. Tenor trombones can repeat faster than bass trombones and tuba anyway. We'll have to alter how this movement happens, I think, because of the way all the other instruments work. Let's double that through into things like bassoons. Oh, no, too many slurs. Zoom in on, a bit, on it a bit so you can actually see it. Track IR. Um, track IR is essentially a, a piece of software and hardware. Um, it's, it's an actual thing with three uh, infrared sensors on it that sits on the side of your headset. You then have a camera um, that reads that and it essentially tracks your head movement. Um, there are certain games that you can set it up to to read that and move your head around within the game. The game we want it for is Elite Dangerous. Um, I did have some head tracking for Elite Dangerous, but it's not not the best thing in the world. Track IR is the gold standard. Yeah, flight sims and things like that. Well, 
that's getting there. That's sounding. Sounding how I want it to. All about the gold standard, yeah. Uh, how easy would it be? Probably not very. Um. Uh, oh, hang on. E E. Go down the octave for these. Just because the thing can. What I'm working on at the moment is a whole a whole series of pieces. There'll be 88 of these altogether. Um all based on the constellations um, they will be available for you to use in your streams and on videos and things once they've done if you want just adding things in and getting them working yes there'll be 88 in total there's one for every single constellation in the sky of which there are 88 I know it seems a silly number, but <laughs> silly idea to try and do, but but I'm going to do it anyway. Right, let's copy this this line through. It'll take a long time, but each one shouldn't take a great deal of effort to do. Actually, those timpani lines can be done, can't they? Those are those. E's down there. Uh, G, yes, possibly. The D is going to be a bit much. Um, make it tricky to play, but it should be possible. Uh, Timothy hits in there. Oh, um, bassoon, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I'll I'll get to the question in a minute, Joel. Shut up. Be quiet. Press the reset button several times, that might do it. Just leave it off for the moment. Um the software I'm using, well well that is a is a uh, digital audio workstation or a door. It's called Sonar. Um this is Sibelius. This is one of the the top pieces of software for music writing, um, for notation anyway. Shut up. Be quiet. Let's play something so that shuts it up. <laughs> Be quiet. Shut up! It's a D, but I don't even know where it is. Um, yeah, uh, the lungs on this bassoon is not ridiculous. Um, shut up! Actually, no, it's not the bassoon. What's the bassoon even playing that note for? Um, let's just see exactly mixer, right? It is that's bassoon. Shut up. <laughs> Good God. Stop it. 
Really? Stop it. There we go. Get Griffith come across stuck notes before. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, might need a lot of drums to do it, but... It. Let's try that. Switch that to be... That. How do you... Yeah. Yeah, exactly as Hubbard makes music as, as spelt it. Avid makes it, yeah. Unfortunately. There we... Won't go into that. <laughs> uh, I haven't had a chance to try out the um, the new um, Glissandi yet. I haven't ne I've had a need for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It, it's not the not the most ideal of situations. Um. And as Dorico is completely out of my reach at the moment, <laughs> and I know what I'm doing with Smailias anyway. Oh, violins have stopped. Started now. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic, but I don't want to pay a stupid amount of money like that just to test it. Mm. Um, I'm sure it'd be very good in about six or seven years, but... Oh, shut up. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there a button anywhere um, in this? <laughs> Preferences. Um, playback. Um, any way of resetting everything without just pressing this button? But yeah, as long as you can do what you want to do in it, that's the main thing, isn't it? Oh, God. Sorry, we're going to have a, you know, violins getting a bit noisy for the moment. Nope. That didn't do anything. I'm going to have to just sit here and wait. Oh god, Excel's back. Oh dear. <laughs> Lurkers Anonymous. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Lurkers. Nothing wrong with Lurkers at all. So I'm just keep pressing the reset button in the hope that it'll... Do something. Oh god. Of course Excel's back. Thank, thank you, Excel. Yay! Yay, it stopped. It stopped. Right. That, I think, is working now as I want it to. I'm just slightly worried about the timpani part, but... Hmm. I just need six or seven drums. Right. What do we got that follows that? Let's stick with that and stick with the string parts and get those sorted for the moment. So select the bit we want to work from and the bit we're putting everything in. Focus on the staves, and then all we've got is those staves to worry about. Good. Right. So now I'm just copying it through. C sharp. Ooh, that's a bit high. <laughs> Um, 
And then we're back, back to something that's very similar to what we started with. Keep a lot of this in the brass as well. But they're going to enjoy that, aren't they? Um... Let's keep this going. Um, it's here, but we need to make sure that we've got got something in octaves. So from there onwards, we need them both in the piano up to no, in the piano in the violins up to that point. High note, yes, very high note. Uh, so those need to be accented like that. Actually, no, we don't need to do that, do we? We can... No, forget that. <laughs> no. Forget I said anything about that. Let's just carry on as we were. It'll work fine. Um, actually, if we have that F sharp as, uh, the F sharp as well there. Oh. Ah! One more way of doing it. Um... F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, uh, and F sharp. I'm playing this on a keyboard. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm playing it on an actual computer keyboard. I do have a piano, a digital piano, which is just over there, which is connected to the computer, but it's not actually working with it at the moment. So I'm actually typing this on a on a standard computer keyboard. So if I want to want the note A, I press A. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Then we get some different notes. Actually, these can just be long notes, can't they? C natural, F F sharp E. Uh, no, hang on, this does need to be different. Hit that. And then we do need to use exactly this down the octave. That. Keep this going. Um, so that's a D. Be that D though. Uh, no, no, it can't. Oh, hang on. Um, all that needs to go up the octave. Hmm. Which means that doubling isn't going to work as as well. So what do we miss out? We miss out the. Have the F sharp up there. Uh, C sharp. E. I had a quaver once, but into it because. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. Don't. Quite know what to say to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's an oh gold alto clef. That's an E. Lose that. Does that work? Is that the note we want? I don't know. Let's listen to it. Thank you. 
Thank you for stopping. Okay, okay. right. So we can lose that. Uh, select those back again, and now let's worry about working out what we're doing here. So it's that we've already got in the bassoons, haven't we? So this needs to carry on in the trombone, uh, bass trombone, and the tuba. So basically, what we had before. G. A's. Yes. D. A. F. A. B. 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 A. B. A. B. A. F sharp. B. A. A, B, E. That's back to where we were. Yeah. Now, same sort of thing, but now it swaps over. So we start with the rest. F sharp. F sharp, F sharp. G, G, B. A, A, D, A. F sharp, A, B. Sorry, it probably sounds like a complete code at the moment. That one needs to be slightly different because there's a difference of note in the in the original. Then it hits that E, which we, actually we don't need that bar at all. Because that is different. Right, let's just check what that is sounding like. Oh, we've ended up... Here, um, there's a rest missing. Um, Like this, all that needs to be shifted one beat to the right. <laughs> that might work now. Right, that's now sounding correct. Okay. Now this needs to, dear, needs to be doing a similar sort of thing in that line. That's in those. So I'm just building this up slowly, slowly, piece by piece. This is easier because it's just repeated notes. This is probably not the kindest thing to do to, <laughs> to some instrumentalists. But never mind, we'll do it anyway. That's going to be a bit low, that's a low on the tenor trombone. It's far, that's too low on the tenor trombone. So those notes need to be shoved up an octave. That one can come down. Hmm. Sharps to... Hmm. That, that can go down. That can go down. So you need to work this out so 
so it fits within the compass of the instrument. Put that up. Put that down. 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 It's the F sharp that's the problem. That's a little low on the tenor trombone. See. That's sounding okay. Uh, what else we got? What else do we need to be doing? Lovely, lovely Joel. Thank you for coming through. It's been lovely having you. These chords. Uh, these chords here. We need to put those into something. Um, let's stick those in the horns. Horn one, horn two, three and four. Yeah, nice having you, Joel. Lovely to have you here. It's been it's been good. Uh, these here, we could probably start with these. This has obviously got to come down the octave because it's going to be far too high on a horn. Otherwise, E A F sharp. That one needs to change. Let's leave it at that for the moment. Stick that into the fourth one and drop at the octave. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Third horn needs the second note down in this chord. For historical reasons. No, that's a C. Go up to it. F sharp E. Uh, C sharp. Yes, C sharp, C natural. B. And then this, the second horn has the third note down. Again, for historical reasons. Uh, so it's D sharp, uh, A, D, C, A sharp, uh, A natural, F sharp. Actually, we don't need the sharp on that F because it's already in the key signature. Make them loud. Oh, don't need another one on that same note, do we? Right, so what's that doing? Yes. Yes. Uh, the tune again. Again, needs to be put into the trumpets. So trumpet one, trumpet two, trumpet three. So just basically doing a similar sort of thing to what we were doing before. Ah, not up there. Actually, we'll just take it to there and put the master stuff over the top of it. Yes, thank you, Excel. <laughs> Now we've already got the seed. A sharp. Ah, no, not B sharp. B. Keep them accented. Um, in the F. 
Yeah, keep the F. Drop down to an E. Excel you helmet, check the lead. <laughs> You know, when I first thought about putting in this game, I didn't think it would cause anywhere near as much problem as it seems to be at the moment. It's nice to see you're fighting over it, though. Keep me natural. Yes, leave it as that. Let's then select select the that line and then come through and stick this into things like flutes and oboe and clarinets. And indeed the bass no we won't bother with the bassoons, we need to sort the bassoons in a bit. So actually let's lose the clarinet. So we've got flute, piccolo, two flutes and two oboes. Yeah. Which is basically this. Yeah, no. Let's go to there. They're both accented, as is that and that note. Accent that and that. Yep. A little bit. Pipe and drum at the moment, isn't it? Um, so we've got that. Drop that down into the flute as well. Shove the whole thing up the octave there. Actually, shove the whole thing up the octave there. That would make more sense. Yes, let's also put that into the oboes. Hmm. Yes. Um, let's have the clarinets and have them I should have clarinets and something else. <laughs> Got a credit in using and don't have a clue about it. <laughs> well, as long as you know what sounds nice, as long as you know what you like, that's an important thing. Uh, mm, yes, we can. Yes, we can. We'll just copy that through into the clarinet. So the clarinets are doubling what the horns are doing. Take the third one, we can stick that on the... Actually, let's stick that on the saxophone. Why not? So clarinet and saxophone giving the chords along with the horns. <laughs> That's a nice sound, isn't it? What we need to do, though, is shift the second one. Let's just stick it in there for the moment. Put that in there and then copy that one into there. So swap the alto saxophone and the clarinet over. So the saxophone is now in the middle of the chord.
when we leave the bass clarinet to have plenty of time to change instruments, which means we're going to have to get rid of it there. Right. <laughs> Yes. Let's just see how that's running together. See if it's flowing in a way that it needs to. Yes. Oh, you credit music just in case of hitting a drum player, keep a blow to if you didn't remember what the jaw of the jargon was. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm. I'm. I'm quite pleased with that. Te that sound actually. Just those. Just that sound. Just two clarinets and an alto saxophone. Saxophone's playing that, which isn't the nicest thing in the world to play. <laughs> Clarinets together give that. Very work be good. <laughs> okay. Oh no, hang on. Hang on, let's let's swap this over even further. Let's put the alto saxophone line on the top. Just the doubling part. We don't need that at the moment. So just by moving those notes around, putting them in different instruments, and switching them about. Makes a completely different sound. Is that no it's possible, but it's out of it's a bit low. That'd be alright. It will be alright. What I might do Let's put that there That double Let's copy that line through into Something that's not really doing a great deal at the moment um, Into that clarinet. Ooh, not not quite at that height. Give it a rest. So that melodic line is then in another instrument, and at the same time we can put the horns doing chords and carry on from there. So that plus that focus on staves and then we're just sorting out horn lines and actually those two chords we can give on to something else as well so b c b c d sharp and then that could just go into Into that. 
Pop that through into there. Down the octave. Don't necessarily have to worry too much about horns playing out of range because the range of the thing is enormous. E sharp, E. Yes, third note down. E sharp, E, F sharp, hit G, A. There's a C there. Let's give it the C then. And this is second note down. F sharp, A, 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 B. Also give that the C. Accent the lot, apart from that last chord. If we have another E there, that would finish it. So, that's the horn part. Trumpet's not doing anything, so we can give that chord, those couple of chords as well. To the trumpet. Oh, let's have all the trumpets, shall we? No point just doing it on first. We might as well use all three. We've got three. So it's that chord. It's that, just that. Keep it loud. Are people still losing their dust? As, as it were. Oh. Oh, I, I am sorry, Grivix. Yeah, why not? Why not do this? Uh, if I can actually type. Um, yeah, let's do that. Might need to emphasize that a bit more as well. Where else can we put that? Um, there isn't really anywhere else we can put that, is there? I've run out of instruments. All these instruments have run out. Oh well. Yeah, see you. See you again, Joel. Ah, uh, no, 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 shut up, Pico. Shut up, Piccolo. Thank you for the fail trombone, XL. Be quiet. <laughs> Spruce it up with the trombone. I've got three of the things in this. That's a horn. Um, there's the trombones. <laughs> We've got that rhythm. No, we haven't got that rhythm going, have we? We need to do something with that underneath there. Let's put it onto the bass drum then. Just have regular, regular strokes on a bass drum. A thousand dust, yeah, it's worth it, yeah. When you've got the amount you've got, it will be worth it. What I'm doing is adding a load of notes in there to get that sorted. Is that the end of it? Yes. Oh. Get rid of it. Right, we don't need them on those two bars. All of that then. Yep, if you can select it. Zoom in on it a bit. Select all that. Copy it through into the bass drum there. There. 
<laughs> like I say, it's nice to have fighting over it. All we need to do copy that through into that. Leave all that empty. We need to copy this through into something else just to keep it moving. It's already in there. Right. Now, then, it's basically the same as that for four bars, isn't it? Yes, four bars exactly the same as what we've already had here. So we'll keep that exactly the same over those four bars. And this is where we have to do that and then copy this through. That E there, we don't need those. Put that one down, get rid of the rest of them. Actually, I'll no, take that up the octave. Like that. Yes, I think so. I think that's working. Now we need to keep this moving. So again, let's start with the bass and the low brass. So the tuba is on the beat. You won't be the only one, AC. Not by a long way would you be the only one. What do you think Excel's been doing for the last week and a half? Well, it needs to go down an octave. It's all in the wrong octave. Let's keep that going. Like that, actually. Um, yes, oh, need to. Give that a little bit of leeway. Uh, mm, um, now, A, these keep all regular. just goes like mad and that doubles and goes down the octave 
like so. Good, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, this line... ...can actually go into the upper strings... ...more or less as it is, just up the octave. Then. Which should be a sharp. So we do that with that. Here we'll put No, we don't need that at all. That's exactly what we've already got. It's the Warcraft 2 one. <laughs> Do you play an instrument or just lead? No, I, I do play the piano. Yep. Set that. Oh, no, they're not. Not accented, they're slurred. Make sure that comes in autism out. That line then needs to be doubled into something else. Probably the best place for it. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's put that note in. Probably the best place for that to go is actually into a clarinet somewhere. Just put all these final notes in because it got lost. So, that second violin line. Let's put it in that trumpet. And the first one we can also put into something like a horn. Just one. Just a single horn. Let's give it to the third horn. Actually, let's not give it to the third horn. Let's give it to the fourth horn. And the second horn. And then... Oh, actually, in, this, in the second horn, not the doubling line. <laughs> We've got a doubling line there to, for when I actually produce the actual score. Uh, no, too high. So when I actually produce the score, I've got it laid out properly rather than all these individual instruments. Because stand, by standard, you have two, two instruments on the same line. If you've got two flutes, for instance, they're both playing from the same line. Right, this chord is a chord of B major. So we need to make sure we've got a chord of B major coming through there. Oh, no, not, down, not right down there. What we do is that, make sure all that is loud. Because that chord will need to be loud. Because then it goes off into something completely different. So there's loads of Bs. That needs to be there. The horns need a chord of B. be an F sharp, that needs to be a B, and then that one is a D sharp. D. 
down there. We've got. Uh, no, the wrong way around. E sharp. I hate writing for horns. Absolutely hate writing for horns. It's also suddenly slowing down. That's already running. We'll give it a symbol crash, shall we? Just to make it make sense. There's the symbol crash. Yep, no, we don't want one of those. Go away. Don't want the mixer either. Make it accented. Put that stroke in as well. Nope. Uh, that's a timpani hit, which is there. Right. Let's listen to it. See what it, see where in any of that it's not quite working. If that note wasn't s oh okay it shut up we're it's we're missing a bit it's missing a little bit of power <laughs> don't be ridiculous excel it's losing a little bit of something through that section and i'm not quite sure what It actually needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, AC. <laughs> All the salt. <laughs> oh, what are we missing? Um, probably bass drum. Let's just keep the bass drum sound going. Uh, what's that? So they're just. Continual. <laughs> Just continual strokes. What we might do through here is have a timpani running as well. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> All things got to be so loud. Um, we need that trumpet line doubled by something. Um, let's put it on the oboe. Actually, let's put it on the oboe and the saxophone. Oboe and saxophone in unison. That's probably against some sort of law, but... Actually, we'll keep... that. And actually put that into the two clarinets as well. Get in. 
Not like that. <laughs> Actually, we can do it that way, and we'll sort it out in a minute. Uh, clarinets, clarinets, clarinets. There, so we get that. Copy it through into both. Right, so there we need to select. Um, I want to remember where the thing is to do it. Uh, filters, that's what we want. Select uh, the bottom note. No, the bottom note. Voice two. Get no, the lower of the two notes. <laughs> Second note or single notes. There we go. Well, that didn't do it, did it? Right, let's do it, do it manually. Delete the second of the two notes. And that's just a question of selecting voice two. Uh, voice two. Delete. Delete. There. There we go. And here we do the opposite. Switch those into voice one. There we go. Keep it very loud. Yes, we're getting somewhere. Give that, a, give that a D sharp. D sharp. Right, save that. So this is the whole thing. I'm happy with how that's going. That's that's nice. How can how? <laughs> Welcome, thank you, thank you. I'm I'm quite pleased with that. It'll um it'll work. I think. Um, I am working from a piano original, <laughs> thankfully. But the piano original is also by me. Um, let's just play through that once more, just to see if it'll. Not actually stick a note. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that for an afternoon's work, actually. Um, that's been good. There is there is one point that I think I do need to do something with, and that's this descending scale there. If we can uh, keep on it. Um, that descending scale there hasn't got enough prominence at all. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually sticking that in the oboes up a couple of octaves. Um, 
Might be fine if it does that actually. Let's just run into it from a little bit early. It's not very powerful, is it? We had the oboe do anything. We have, but it's it's still hmm, still not there. Um, let's swap them over. Um, put it onto those lines for the moment. Let's swap it over with the clarinets. Up to the clarinet. Up to the oboes. We'll have to alter the octave in a minute. Um, Yeah. That. Right. Let's see what. See if that makes a change. Rid of the extraneous rests. Yeah. Yeah. I might need to think about putting it in thirds. Yeah. It's just not coming through, is it? Let's. Actually, let's put it in. Let's hmm. Let's stick that up the octave. Put that a third higher. More B sharps and cowbell. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's just not coming through. Triangle is pretty. Um, so it's a descending scale of in, from C down to B. That's just exactly the same. Hmm. Let's let's try this. Let's try that. Let's actually put it back to the original pitch. That oboe line, copy it back into the clarinet as well. It's there. It's there. Um, is that going to be? That's a bit. That's far too high, isn't it? Yeah, it's just getting swallowed by it. Um, Is what else we can actually put it on? Is it in the bassoon? It's already in the bassoons. Um, as it's just a scale, it should be fairly straightforward. Let's stick it in the alto saxophone as well. Just need to, I think we just need the texture to be a bit thicker. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Highest to thousand. See, it works. It works in capitals as well. <laughs> Let's just for the moment lose that. Not making a great deal of difference. I think it's more of an orchestration, um, more of a balance problem than an orchestration one, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we'll call that. Um, we'll s have a think about what it needs to actually have there. The texture is, I think, a little bit overpowering on it more than anything else. Um, yeah, it is starting to come through. It is starting to come through. Um, as I say, I think part of the problem of it is not necessarily the orchestration, more the balance, because there's app I mean, I'm playing it back through this and there is no balance on it at all. Um that's the sort of thing I will sort out once it's all completed. Um and go through and, and fiddle with it to make sure that things are heard. Things that need to be heard. Of course that's what a <laughs> what a conductor would do in a live performance anyway. Is that oh yeah we're not yeah we're not hearing that. Can you bring it out a bit more? Right, let's go back to the beginning, listen through to it once more just to see.
Yes. Yes, that's that's coming together quite nicely. Right. I think I will call that it for today. And remember, there is another creative stream tomorrow afternoon at four my time. Um, everything now is uh, scheduled as an event. So if you look above the video somewhere, um, there's an event tab. If you go into that, I have got every stream I've got planned set as one of those. So you can set reminders. You can get everything. All the information is there for what I'm planning on doing. Um, next week's streams will be sorted out either tonight or tomorrow. But tomorrow afternoon, four o'clock, we shall come back and start doing the rest of this. Start looking at the middle bit of this, which is a little bit different. One thing it's a lot slower, tuning the bass, and there's just this constant tremolo going on. Um, and then the end of it is essentially very similar to what we've just done. There's a little bit of an extension to it. But that shouldn't take too much bother. Because now you've got to start, you know what you're working from. You can get the rest of it sorted. Uh, this will be the second piece that I'll have completed. The piece I've been working on is more or less finished. It just needs sorting out, balancing and everything, putting where it needs to go. So once that's done, it will be released. It will appear on, on Twitch. It will appear on YouTube. <laughs> and Excel's shouting AC out. <laughs> So if you're enjoying this sort of thing, please do let me know. Please do follow. Please do keep in touch. As I say, I'll be back with more of this tomorrow. Um, two weekend streams are always creative now. And I'll be back with simple gaming next week. Let's see uh, when I find my buttons. Let's see who is currently doing things. <laughs> Excel will be here in every stream. Yes, um, I'm not at all surprised by that. Let's see who we've got. Have we got anybody doing anything even remotely approaching this? Let me look at my people I follow. Um, where can we go? Uh, oh, I know where we go. I know where we're going. Let's go. <laughs> PCs on 24 7 will keep following stream up at all times. Yes. Why does that not surprise me? I know where we're going to go. Uh, if I can type in the chat box, it would help. So I will be back tomorrow, as I say. Um, until then. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and go and say hello to Lizard Eat Flies. <laughs>